depriving someone of technology is not a goal. It's a tactic. And that tactic did not, was not in service of the goal. The goal, of course, is that the United States and China now represent uh, a unique relationship that hasn't existed in the world for a long time. Two incredible countries. Um, both would like to succeed. Both would love to prosper. Both would love to win. We would like United States to be the world leader. In order for, for us to do that, we have to be in search of all the AI developers in the world. And as it turns out, China is incredible in AI because 50% of the world's AI developers are in China and Chinese. And so our mission, properly expressed, in order for America to have AI leadership, is to make sure that the American tech stack is available to markets all over the world so that amazing developers, including the ones in China, are able to build on American tech stack so that AI runs best on the American tech stack. But what if in doing that, you also are providing the Chinese military with uh, Chinese intelligence, with the capacity to supercharge, to turbocharge their weapons with the very best American chips, which are yours? We don't have to worry about that because the Chinese military, no, no different than the American military, uh, will not seek each other's technology out to be built on top of it. They simply can't rely on it. Um, it could be, of course, limited at any time. Not to mention, there's plenty of computing capacity in China already. If you just think about the amount of number of supercomputers that are in China, built by amazing Chinese engineers that are already in operation, they don't, they don't need NVIDIA's chips, certainly, or American tech stacks in order to build their military. However, I believe it is core to the American spirit to want to be the world's best.